Construction on the $2.8 million park began in November. At 225 feet long, the park has Florida's longest snake run. ABC 27's photojournalist Taylor Robinson was out there today and shows us how the new park provides a place for skaters of all skill levels to perfect their moves. It came out of a an issue that we turned into an opportunity at Cascades Park. Orly said, hey, you just got to build those shapes someplace else. And that's really where the idea of this skate park came from. Skaters were involved with the whole vision of what was going to happen at the park since day one, which is like something I've noticed that other cities don't have. Show of hands, how many people have seen a no skateboarding sign at a store? Kids have no representation. There's no association for skateboarding so that's you that's the community in local government we know we do our best job when we engage citizens as co-creators and what you see here today is an, is an example of just that we all live in our respective neighborhoods but sometimes you need to leave your neighborhood to go to others to see what it's like there these kind of amenities allow for that kind of thing Projects are also part of the larger Southside Action Plan effort to make the Southside a part of that all-America city that Tallahassee has twice been named. And Vice Chairman Nick Maddox says this project is among 17 infrastructure projects coming to the Southside with a total of $315 million value.